Good morning. <laughs> I'm Jane. Um, I'm here to tell you another venture story. I think this is going to be my seventh uh, ventures video. I'll link the other six in the description below and give you like a little um, description of what those are in case you're looking for something specific. I have dentures, and uh, as I film this, this is September of 2022, and I had all of my teeth extracted, and I got dentures in July of 2021. Anna, you'll probably see duck running around in the background because she a duck. Anywho, um, <laughs> I don't believe a whole lot of stuff that I read on Google. <laughs> Because, um, it just seems like you can find conflicting things. <laughs> you know, if, <clears throat> if your position on just any given subject, Duck wants to be in the video. If your position on any given subject is, you know, A, you can find all kinds of stuff to support that. And your position, your position can be on B. And you can find all kinds of stuff to support that. So, I really just go by personal experience and common sense. And, um, one of the things about getting dentures is they, they tell you that, or some sources will tell you that, um, your dentures can get plaque and tartar and these kind of things building up on them. And I didn't really ever put a whole lot of stock in that because they're acrylic and acrylic is plastic. So, in my brain, I was thinking, you know, teeth are, you know, bone and enamel and pulp and, you know, roots and all these kind of things. And so, it seems like if you're going to have tartar buildup and plaque buildup, that if, it, if that's something that forms on your teeth, like your natural teeth, that it's not something that's going to form on plastic teeth. Well, I was wrong. I was wrong. Um, tartar, you can get tartar buildup on your acrylic dentures, on your plastic denture, dentures. I don't know if you can get tartar buildup on porcelain dentures. I'm assuming that you probably can. Um, but I don't have those. I have the acrylic ones. So, what happened was, I, um, you know, felt something kind of rough in this area. And it's so weird because the tartar or the plaque or whatever it is actually forms on your fake gum line, <laughs> just like on natural teeth. So, you know, right in there, um, where the pink plastic is, at the base of the white plastic teeth, that's where tartar forms, just like on regular, regular teeth. It is so weird. So, um, I noticed this when I was looking because I felt like something a little bit rough. Like, I didn't have a lot of it because I haven't, I haven't actually worn my dentures on a daily basis until the past maybe eight months. And I am a fanatic about keeping them clean. I soak them every night, you know, in something. Sometimes it's, um, you know, Dawn and Peroxide and water. Most of the time it's uh, the Polydent, um, you know, little tablets that you dissolve and they fizz up. I am a beast about keeping my teeth clean because I can, you know, it was so hard to keep my, my natural teeth clean because they were so broken and just messed up. And you know, these teeth, I want to take care of them. And I actually do have a backup set of dentures and I'll tell you about those someday and I'll show you, um, they're the economy set. But anyway, I'm obsessed with having nice teeth because now I can. And so, you know, I take really, really good care of them. And, and I clean them every single day. And so I was a little bit shocked when I saw how much um, tartar and like buildup that I had there. And it's very easy to see because I couldn't actually see it at first. I felt it. I could feel it because I'm like, what is this rough? Like, what is this rough you know, on my teeth? And so I looked around the Google and the Google said it was tartar, and there were pictures, and you know, so, you know, I very quickly de determined that this is what it was, and the regular cleaning was not taking it off, you know, I brush them every time I take them out of my mouth, um, before I put them in the cup, 
Then when I put them in the cup with whatever cleaner, as soon as I take them out, sometimes it's the next morning, sometimes it's 30 minutes, I brush them again. So, you know, I am very anal retentive about, you know, keeping them clean. But, um, it's still built up. Still had some tartar. So, frankly, I was kind of pissed. Because I want my teeth to be perfect. You know, there are challenges with wearing dentures. And, um, I chose it. And I'm not sorry. But I want them to remain pristine and clean. And so I looked around the internet, and one of the things that the internet said was, don't scrape them, you know, because, of course, it's plastic. You can chip them, or you could even break them if you scrape them too hard. Uh, so what I did um, was I found a site that said, you know, if you have this tartar buildup that's on your, um, on your dentures, you can have them prof professionally cleaned. You can take them presumably to where you got them. I got mine at Affordable Dentures. Presumably, you can take them back and ask them to professionally clean them. Um, or you can try soaking them in vinegar, just plain white vinegar, and you don't have to dilute it. You can just leave them in the cup overnight, and that should soften the tartar to where when you use your denture brush, it just brushes right off. Okay, Google is a liar because I soaked my dentures in straight-up white vinegar um, overnight, and the next morning I got up and I brushed and I brushed and I brushed with, the, you know, the little dentures brush, and it it wouldn't come off that way. It was, however, um, soft enough for me to, like, use my fingernail and, like, kind of flick off, like, pick off with my fingernail. I wasn't worried about scratching my teeth with my fingernail, for God's sake. You know, for what these cost, I should be able to scratch them with my fingernail and be okay. And I was, but... I soaked them the first night, and then I, you have to get, like, a really good light because it, it's not something that you can see in the regular, in just, like, regular light. You have to have a light that's shining directly on them. So, um, I used my fingernails to, you know, pick off the little bit because I didn't have much. But I did have a few spots that did not want to come off, um, even though they have been soaked in vinegar overnight. So, I took off, I picked off what I could with my fingernail. And then I brushed them, cleaned them, put them into wear that day. And then the next night, I soaked them in pure white vinegar again. And, like, the majority of it, I was able to pick off with my fingernails. My fingernails are pretty strong because uh, I have an autoimmune disorder that weakens my fingernails. And so I take a supplement to um, make my fingernails thicker. And that's why, when you see my hands, my fingernails are always painted. It's not because I think that it's which I do think it's pretty, but I paint them because that adds layers to my nails and makes them stronger. So, um, they're strong. They were strong enough for me to, you know, to pick off the rest of what was there. But anyway, I think from now on, I'm going to maybe once a week or once every two weeks, go ahead and just soak them in straight, uh, plain white vinegar to, um, stay ahead of it because I really don't like the thought of like, of stuff, you know, building up on my teeth because I just don't like that. I want them to be clean. And um, I actually, two nights in a row, I soaked them in straight vinegar. And the third night, um, I only had enough vinegar to fill the cup maybe like halfway. And so I put um, some hydrogen peroxide in it and filled the rest up with water. And they look good, right? So um, that's the story. If you're confused about whether or not you can get tartar on your acrylic teeth or plaque on your acrylic teeth, yes, you can. <laughs> so, don't be me. Keep an eye on them and, you know, take care of it weekly so you don't end up, you know, months later and then you have, like, you have the gunk on there. It wasn't visible, like, just with me talking or, you know, interacting with other people or doing whatever I do. But... It was there, and I didn't want it to be there. So, my name is Jane. That's my denture story for today. Um, I'll link to all of the other videos in the description box below. And if you've made it this far watching, thank you. I hope you all have a wonderful day.